Hey, orange one here. So we're starting off right where we left off um, after looting like this whole area. We basically just looted and looted and looted the Vlandians, who are by far a superior nation compared to the uh, the Sari, which we're on the side of. So we're doing a little guerrilla warfare, essentially, just trying to whittle down their economy, hitting essentially any and every village that I can, and just trying to get my uh, my boys here to be the biggest banner group that they can be, you know. Um, I haven't really been taking prisoners mostly because I don't want to be slowed down. And as a looter, yeah, we need to be quick. Um, I mean, you know, maybe clearing out these looters is not what I should be doing. Maybe I should be leaving these guys, because then they would be um, attacking villagers, right? I mean, there's something to be said for both sides of it. One On one side, leaving looters, that's going to hurt the trade in the area. But it also will boost my experience, and I think at the end of the day... Having a player having highly trained units. That really is what wins wars in this game. The AI, they can do whatever they, they really want. But at the end of the day, you can cheese things so much, the AI can't really resist too much against you. And they can, but like I said, too much is key at part of that. Uh, these villagers, I'm going to just see if I can get them and then join up with that raiding party yeah man these dudes just hate me it's understandable I'm kind of an awful human for what we've been doing in their country but what they've been doing in our country is just as despicable we've got a hundred people here we might be able to convince this dude um, Garantor Castle has been take taken. Oh, was that... Did they take it from us or something? That was kind of weird. Big hostile action. Could we continue raiding? I'm going to continue raiding. Yeah, I think that that's really where... Where we need to be for putting our efforts. I might be ruining my save right now. Just, you know, becoming such a criminal... Um, character. Okay, yeah, you can you can cry all you want. Fine by me. Uh, the Koyas. Yeah, there's a couple armies that they're they're trying to put together to actually attack these people. But really, what they should be doing is they should just be hanging out and uh, attacking supply chains as much as possible. Maybe we'll go back. It's been a while since we've gone back um, to our, our territory. Yeah, the defenders here, there's like almost nobody there. Let's just have a look at my party. Yeah, we don't have any prisoners. We've got tons of cash. I might see if we can go build uh, a, a business in Koyaz. That might be the worst place to build one. Oh, they're trying to besiege that one city. Let's, let's go to Koyaz. And we'll see if we can um, buy a business in there and maybe some armor, and then we'll go join up with them up there. Seems like a good plan, doesn't it? Well, first of all, we need to get uh, mercenaries if they, if they will let me. There we go. You know, I might want a cow thief. Yeah, if you uh, if you like. Um, we came down on the Thieves' Village one day at dawn. I had learned that thieves go rich while honest men die. Oh man, I want you in my party. Yeah, if you want to be... Um, if you want to be a bandit, I might want to see if I can have you join us. Who should I get rid of? Oh, I don't know if I want to get rid of my companions or not. They're, they're so annoying that they're complaining. Yeah, I think we, we want Cow Thief on our um, party. If we're looking here, 
your level 18, your level 11 para. I know we've had para for a while, and she even ran a caravan for us for a while there. Um, we could just like straight up get rid of you. But I'm a, you're gonna take all that equipment if I do that, aren't you? Let's go to inventory just for a minute. And para, um, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need that stuff back. I'm um, actually hold on just. Sorry, I should have probably done this like in between episodes, not while you're all here. Um, let's get rid of just all this junk. Just it's just gonna make it so much cleaner for us with this whole inventory thing. But we're gonna basically say, hey Para, uh, thank you for your service. Um, I'm taking everything back. And sorry. <laughs> Oh, come on. There we go. Let's end the humiliation. There we go. That's not so bad, right? And yeah, you've got like pretty much default clothes for that, so that's fine. So, Para, if I go to party and I talk to you, can I tell you, hey, um, I no longer have need for your services. Your skills are not what I need. Um, I wonder if that affects, like, how things spawn, uh, later on. Let's go see, uh, Cow Thief. And if we find Para, we could hire Para back later. Yes. Um, you're an expensive one, but I bet that means you've got some good stats, huh? So, let's go to our inventory. And let's go to Cow Thief over here. Um, we've got... Some good toys for you. I think you're gonna like them. I hope you're good with a bow. If you're not, you're gonna be. Um, and then let's see, I think this is what we had on her. There we go. Yeah, it's basically everything that wasn't highlighted. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, you look pretty pretty well set now. Yeah, okay. So Olan Cow Thief, you're probably if I look at you, if I go to like characters, I'm just kind of curious about this. Where are you? Cow Thief, there you are. Um Their mercy is cruel, valor daring, generosity generous. So if I look at you, you're merciful. Which is probably our problem. If we're cruel, I bet people don't care so much about raiding. I don't know that. That's just me um, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, rival gang, that means we're going to have to come back here in three days. Um, I don't really want to do that. I mean, I could leave some men behind, but we kind of need them on the front line. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, we'll take, we'll take these guys. Um... We were going to see about buying a workshop, though. Weren't we? I don't have all the workshops, I'm pretty sure. That I can have. I'm pretty sure I can get one more. Hold on, that, just give me a second. I need to check that. If I go to L, uh, other... Oh, look, my carpenter thing's just gone. Oh yeah, I'd heard that. If, like, cities get taken, your workshops can just get destroyed. So yeah, if we put things in Koyas, if it gets taken, that's going to be bad bad news for us. So we'll have to really make sure it doesn't get taken, right? Actually, I had noticed that we were making less money. Now that I think about it, we were making like 500 less or something. Not 500 less, but yeah. Maybe 500 less. That actually doesn't sound too unreasonable. Um, Let's see. We want to go to... Probably the linen weavery is what I'm thinking. Or the smithy. Oh, there's a smithy? Oh, I want to buy the smithy. But there's like no iron in like all of the Sari Kingdom, so uh how does that work? And if I can, maybe I buy two businesses here. No, that's that's dumb. And I think we probably want the linen, because the linen is probably produced uh locally. So let's buy a linen 
weavery here and maybe we could go back further and buy another business but then again our finances are kind of like fine i don't even know what i would do with that money you know yes i would like to buy this workshop sure um nope just keep it what it is yep sounds good to me i'm sure you know what you're doing and make me money. You know, we could honestly just uh, boost the defenses here. We could donate all of our troops here and then try and uh, raise some more good troops. Look at that sword that I'm carrying around. That is awesome. And it's a two-handed one that I can carry around, which I don't know how that works. Because you're not supposed to be able to do that when you're um, in places like this. Shop worker, yes, for the smithy, I'd like to buy this. Yep, um, I don't want to change what we're producing. Sure, sounds good to me. Um, yeah, it is tempting to do that, to try and bolster Koyaz's defenses. And they have 500 defenders right now, which should be able to hold pretty well against most offenses. Um, but they're not going to be facing most offenses. The Vlandian offense is going to be pretty brutal, I've got a feeling. Uh, that looks pretty good. The nav. Uh, hopefully we can get some recruits from there, and then I'm heading out. And we'll get food probably as we raid, is part of the reason I'm not getting uh, food at these places. Ooh, we got uh, one that's on horseback immediately. Very cool. And look at how uh, tight our finances are all of a sudden. It's going to take a little money for those things that we just bought to make cash, but I've got a good feeling. Come on. Where's this uh, the siege? I thought there was supposed to be a siege up here. Um, is this really the siege? Together we've got 300 against how many? 89. I mean, we can do it. You're trying to defend this place? How are you planning on doing that? Are you trying to get into the gates or something? Yeah, I'm going to charge out and see if I can catch that dude. I mean, we've got pretty good numbers and we're much, much, much faster. And yeah, if we've got an opportunity to attack an enemy lord, we probably should take it. Maybe I'll wait a little bit till uh, we get the experience for the night. I would like to be able to attack that dude. I think when we get that salary, that's when the experience comes through. No, never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's actually um, two groups there. Four and 5.2. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack you. And then we got to be careful because you might be able to actually clean me up afterwards. So I got to be kind of careful about how I uh, I proceed here. This could go very poorly. Um, I'm pretty sure we can take him though. And then we can probably get away from the 40 stack. We'll fight you. Yeah. yeah, we're doing this. We're fighting actual lawns. Lords, not lawns. What, is, what am I saying? Um, guys, follow me. follow me. If they're gonna come to us, let's get on this little hill here. Forward, Infantry, I want you like Go. there. Archers, Move. Archers here. Infantry. Follow me! And cavalry following me. Yeah, that looks good to me for now. And we'll kind of keep an eye on things. It looks like they're advancing. And our archers actually have pretty good shots on them right now. So we'll, uh, we'll just kind of let them come to us. And we'll hang back with the cavalry and loop around as needed. There's five and five on the two cavalry sides there. I'm thinking the group on the left is a little bit closer. Yeah, so let's go take that group out. Yep, come over here. 
Um, tank over, command. Everyone, sergeants in yeah, charge. sergeants can take over from here. We've got them pretty much where we want them. I can I can hammer uh, them in right here. Oh. There we go. Vlandian knights, I've heard about you. You're like Swadian knights, basically. Oh man, they're actually getting quite a few kills in. More than what I was expecting, actually. Oh, messed that one up. There we go. We are actually starting to get some of them, but we took quite a few losses there. I think we've broken them, though, judging by uh, the, the kill screens um, that we're getting. There we go. God, I love horse archery. It's so fun in this game. Yeah, that dude I'm gonna try and get, but I'm pretty sure he's good. There's very low chance of me actually hitting him. But we can we can aim for it. Yeah. Oh. Did you see that last one? Pretty much looked like it was gonna be a hit, but no luck. Well that was pretty effective, you know looking at the the counts. I don't know if we're gonna actually catch this other guy. You know what I really like in Star Sector how during this time your deployment it actually like tires people out more. So like during this time there's no reason for me to uh, stop retreating right now or uh, to end the battle early. Like there's no reason to do it but if it tired people out more and it made you move slower or something like that, um, then you would, you know, change how, what you're doing with that. So, looks like killed 22 of them. Okay, cool. Um, but we captured 26. Uh, we didn't lose that many of them. I could take you prisoner. Or I could kill you. I don't think I want to kill you. I mean, people may want to kill me, but... I don't think I actually want to kill her. Now, here's the question is, we don't really have anywhere to put you that's super close. I mean, we could take all these prisoners, but I don't think that we want to be slowed down that much. I will uh, I will gladly take that booty, though. How's that? Ooh, that's actually uh, really good shoes there. Um, I'll equip that, then. Definitely. See, this is a, a great way to get good armor. I've heard this before, is that you can get some really good gear from other the enemy lords. Um, and we're kind of seeing that right now. This is definitely some good stuff. I mean, maybe it also is the fact that we, we've got pretty high raiding skill. Uh, like, my character is, is a rogue has got plenty of experience let's just say that and it looks like all of my cavalry like i actually have a fair amount of cavalry they just can't really do much right now yeah we'll go back to the group that's sieging i think that that was well worth it attacking the enemy there and are you actually you're not actually attacking are you i thought that i saw the the numbers changing there um i want to join your army sure okay let's see what's kind of going on here i think we want to hang out for this yeah we're gonna crush these guys it's just a matter of getting siege equipment and i might want to attack that dude if uh if we can unfortunately it may not be worth it to attack him you know, honestly, we could probably just bum rush this place. They've got a battering ram. I'm not sure what they're waiting on. How's my party doing just number-wise? Just me. Uh, 53 able to fight. Yeah, compared to the 69, we're not we're not gonna do well in that fight. So we'll just we'll just kind of hang out with the army. Oh, you're actually gonna try and take it? Okay, cool. I'm nervous. I mean, there's only 86 of them. So we've pretty much guaranteed that we'll take it, but 
I mean, we've got like over three times the units that they've got, but still. We could take uh, some heavy losses. We must breach the walls. I like that. I really like the dialogue that we got right there. Uh, just draw some enemy fire. I love the little slits in the castles that you can shoot out of, and the candles. Oh man, and the lights. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys can see this pretty well. Hopefully, with the lights in the castle, you can kind of see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. This looks great on my monitor. That fire right there. Like, don't look too closely. Um, why are we just standing here? What's the uh, what's the game plan? Oh, the battering ram's coming. Yeah, uh, you don't have any shields. You've just got, like, tribesmen. You, you brought tribesmen to a siege. Oh, god. Well, we're gonna lose a lot of people here, by the looks of it. Or was those my tribesmen? Did I bring the tribesmen? I'm trying to think. I think I might have brought some tribesmen. Let's see if we can get... Uh, no, that's gonna be an impossible shot. Oh, come on. Nope. Yeah, these shots are gonna be really hard to pull off. Like, impossible to pull off, essentially. Come on. That was close, right? No. Okay, that dude's gotta go. There we go. God. There we go. And they weren't even an archer that we just hit, but I'll take it. Yeah, this is gonna be... we're gonna get tagged pretty soon up here. But we might be able to take one out, or two out, before that happens. Yeah, here we go. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Now I gotta be careful. If I get hit by one, one more of those, I could be done. So. We gotta be just a little bit more cautious and hide behind our... our mask. Okay, we're here. We're at, at the walls. Are we gonna? Yeah, we're battering. Okay, kind of about in there. But they are hitting us hard. Okay, they're trying to take the walls now. Good. We should be able to get some more pressure on them pretty soon. I just want to take out a few more archers before. Any archers here? Yes. Um, kind of. Not that I've got a good shot on right now, unfortunately. Yeah, try and take your shot there. Go for it. It's all yours, buddy. There we go. Okay, payback. It's time for some payback. Oh. Oh. Yeah, dude. Um, stand right there. Just right there. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, the AI cannot handle the slits. How much we have... Uh, decided. I mean, it's super cool. Oh, never mind. They can kind of handle it. That dude just got me. Okay, we are losing quite a few people right now, but we are also taking, killing quite a few as well at the same time. I'm gonna see if I can get up in this. I can hear it. I just can't see it. I think they're all inside the walls right there, right now. But hopefully I can get like a nice bird's eye view. Though 86, we gotta be getting close to that now. Okay, come on. Oh wow, look at all of those units in the, in the streets down there. It's so cool, man. We gotta take the castle though, it looks like. There we go. That dude, I don't know what was going on there, but it looks to me like we got this. Enemies are fleeing. We've won. Yay. I don't know how they flee in a map like this, but it looks like our units are just standing still, so it looks like we're good. Okay, um, we did lose quite a few people. We've only got a strength of 163 right now. 
that really concerns me. Um, because there's like people right outside right now, just licking their lips, looking at us. You know, it's just mildly concerning. Okay, there's gotta be. Uh, I'm gonna leave that army. Um, so that I can drop off some troops here. But man, that that should be good for our renown. We probably got a good amount of renown there. If I go in, no, sorry, that was the wrong button. I went, meant to um go to the uh, dungeon. Let's look here. The dungeon is in the keep, right? So go to dungeon, donate prisoners. Uh, perfect. And see, I I don't see anything saying that I'm getting renown for doing this. Is there a way for me to see my renown? You know, like I don't I don't know if there is. There's probably not a way for me to see my renown. Um, but I'm gonna give all of my prisoners to you, Liana. I feel like I should take you further back though. Yeah, let's take Liana back. Um further uh, we'll do a little trade see if I can get more horses you, you just don't have horses for sale do you okay fine I'll sell my okay stuff um, yeah let's get off the, fr the front line right now how many defenders are there there are 72 that's like nothing man like seriously are you kidding me? Do I hire more dudes? I can. I kind of want to give troops to the city, but I feel like it's a kind of a pointless thing. Um, just because they're going to take that right back, you know? Like, honestly, if it was up to me, I'd burn that city down. <laughs> like, scorched earth, man. You gotta do what you gotta do in times of war. And that's what I've been doing to, like, the countryside for, like, I don't know how long. Okay, Unik, you're gathering troops, looks like. That's a good move. I definitely would agree with that. Um, just kind of curious as to what's going on over here. That is what I have. Yeah, there's not really anything that's catching my eyes right now from here. Though, yeah, that's not, not worth it. That's a pretty nice looking bow there. There's a number of them that are actually pretty nice. Uh, step recurve bow, that's what I've got. I could get that for our companions. There's the heavy recurve bow and long bow. Oh, right, yeah, we wanted to give you a nice, nice weapon. Why don't we give you this? We can just about afford it. To get rid of all of our extra stuff. Is there anything? There's the fur. Yes, I will. I will sell that. Um. And did we go to the tavern? I feel like we did not go to the tavern to get ourselves any more mercenaries, or if it's even been long enough. Yes, it has. Great. Awesome. I will gladly take you. And we'll keep on going through the cycle that we've been doing. <laughs> if there's any quests um, I might see. Train troops. Uh, on some fairly safe expeditions, such as hunting some bandits. No, they're, they're going to go into the war with me if they're coming with me. <laughs> yeah. I'll help if I can. I'll I'll take people. That's the fortunes of war. Try not to get them all massacred. Okay. Fine by me. So what's the quest exactly? Like what's the time frame that I have on it? Um trained troops. So attacking weak parties. You know what? I could do that, honestly. We could, uh... Oh, we actually are way over party capacity right now. 
Uh, that's bad. Is there anything that I can do to raise my party capacity? Because I probably shouldn't have taken this quest if that this was the case. Um, I know that there's a way to, like, if I look at my clan rule, I can also look at these other guys' clan rules. I think if someone has a better um, leadership skill, that, um, hold on, let me just look at stats, the stats description. Uh, gain party morale for food variety, that's for quartermaster. Uh, assemble and lead armies, the leadership. I think if someone's got a higher leadership than me, I might want to appoint them as my quartermaster then. So who's got uh, leadership? Leadership is zero. For all of them. Okay. Well, we're going to lose people. Well, we got the ten... Uh, Recruits, right? Borrowed troops? Okay, so... Maybe I can get rid of some of these recruits then? Or... And then... Am I still... I'm still over, right? Yeah, I still am having a hard time with the whole, like, math thing that they're doing here. Because, like, it just doesn't show you exactly how much you have so it's kind of hard to know exactly when you are over or not over i mean i know that i can do the math here and figure it out that it should be 50 so i've got nine too many dudes is that right how do i have nine too many people um maybe we could get rid of some of these thugs or something Yeah, let's get rid of some of our lower level dudes. Uh, these are like level 16s. Uh, Batanian, I'll get rid of you. Same with you. I mean, yeah, it's just kind of a shame that we're going to have to lose some units. Um, uh... We could honestly probably getting rid of the thugs is probably the best move. And Batanian volunteers, yeah, we'll get rid of you as well. Got get rid of six people still. How's that even possible? Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that quest. That was that was dumb of me. I regret it immediately. Uh, thugs, sure, get rid of those as well. Um, hold on, we're... Now we're... We're below our limit. Um, take back some of those brigands. Um, I think that we're still okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I think that we're okay now. Right? Within that pretty limit. So we should just go attack some looters. Is basically what they said. Just go attack looters. And we have so many units that I don't know how long this is going to take to actually level those dudes up. It might take a while. I think, honestly, we probably should just bring them with us up, uh, up north. And we'll we'll see if they actually survive the war or not. This area actually, we've got like no raiders here. See, we've managed to push the enemies so far back that um, there's like the wars being fought in their territory essentially. And with an army of seven hundred, maybe we stand a chance. I don't know. Yeah, so we gotta bring those ten dudes back. Um, that may not happen. I'm just, I'm just saying right now, we're in a war. We do have a very, very advantageous situation right now with 700 people 
behind us and oh yeah and like look at all this things are things are looking good on the this front up here and legata that actually has not been sieged wow okay well i'm half tempted to grab that lord right there and try and attack like some sort of castle or something uh what's going on over here nothing okay well i think i'm just kind of looking at the time right now um it's probably a pretty good point to end the episode uh thank you for joining me this has been orange one